Hi there, I'm Hugo, I'm one of the creators of Quenza. Please allow me to show you how the Pathway Builder works. Let's start with the main menu bar. This button will save a draft version of your Pathway. Once you feel the Pathway is ready, you can publish the Pathway by hitting this button. You can leave the Pathway Builder by hitting back over here. Now let's move on to the three tabs over here. The first tab is the Builder, that's where you are right now. You can create or edit your Pathways here. In the second tab, you can add notes to a Pathway. These notes will not be visible to your client. In the last tab, you can add information to categorize the pathway. Here you can enter tags and specify the type of pathway you're creating. This type of information helps the pathway to be found again by browsing or searching. Now let's go back to the Pathway Builder. You can enter the title of the pathway here. It's also possible to add a different title for clients below the main title. Clients who receive this pathway will see this title instead of the main title. Note that this title for clients is optional, you don't need to enter one. Ok, let's start building a pathway. Before we continue, it is important to understand what a pathway is. Basically, a pathway is an automated scheduled series of activities. On the left you see the steps that are part of this pathway. A step is one activity in a series of activities that make up a pathway. We've not added a step to this pathway yet, so let's do this first. When adding a step to a pathway, there are two options. Option 1 is to add an existing activity. To do so, hit Load Activity, select the activity you want, and now, as you can see, it's loaded into step 1. There are a few things you can do with this activity. Click on these three dots over here to show the options. You can edit this activity, replace it with a different one, read the notes that are attached to it, or preview it. Now let's add another step to this pathway. To do so, click on the plus button under the step. Now let's choose the other option. Let's create a new activity from scratch. When you create an activity in a pathway, it's called a pathway only activity. It means that this activity is only visible in the pathway it belongs to. It will not show up in your personal activity library. Once I choose to create a pathway only activity, the activity builder shows up. Now create an activity that you want to add to your pathway. Save it and return to the Pathway Builder by clicking here. Now you see that the new activity is loaded in Step 2. The label over here indicates that this is a Pathway Only activity. If you click on the three dots, you will see that there is now a menu item Unlink from Pathway. Unlinking this activity from this pathway means this activity will become part of your personal activity library and thus can be used as individual activity too. In other words, unlinking this pathway only activity will make it a regular activity. Now let's have a closer look at the steps. Clicking on a step will reveal the activity that is loaded into this step. You can also rearrange the order of steps. When you go to the top of a step, the drag and drop dots appear and now you can put the step in whatever order you want. For each step, there are settings that are important to pay attention to. The first setting involves the delivery of this particular step. When should this step be delivered? No delay means the activity in this and the activity in the previous step will be delivered at the same time. After fixed amount of time means there is a fixed amount of time between this and the activity in the previous step. When you choose this setting, you need to specify the exact amount of time between this and the last step. For example, one week. When you choose the last option, after completing previous step, this step will be delivered when the client has completed the previous step. This option is great for things like self-paced learning. Note that the select the delivery option is shown between steps, as you can see here. You can also disable this information with this toggle. With this toggle, you can choose whether a client should receive a reminder or not, and if so, when this reminder should be sent. Here you can choose who is allowed to see the client's responses, both you and the client, only you, only the client, or the client decides who can see his or her responses. When the required toggle over here is enabled, it means two things. One, the client cannot proceed with the next step until the step is completed, and two, this step cannot be cancelled by the client. A step can be duplicated with this button and removed with this button. If you want to hide the information in the step, simply click on the dots in the top of the box and the expanded box will now collapse. 
That's it, I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. If not, please don't hesitate to ask questions. There is a lot of room for questions in the support section. We love to help, so please uh, don't hesitate to contact us. Take care and enjoy, bye.